P's and Q's, take care of the little things and uh, play with maximum effort. And I, you know, I don't doubt that. But, uh, you know, they're well, well in this game. Got a lot of time to do it. Walford will start the second half with the basketball. Goodwin, the leading scorer, will pass it off to Kesman, who knocks down the jumper. Tells Ray Sean Harrison, welcome to D1 basketball. Gives him a nice little shoulder, no call. And I thought it was a pretty good no call. On the other end, Reddish will pass it off to Younger. But by the same token, Tyler, I'm not sure, you know, I wouldn't have been shocked if it would have been an offensive foul. He kind of pushed off. Reddish needs to take advantage of this. Got him, and score the bucket. And the foul. A chance for the three-point opportunity. And as you, as you recall, Tyler, we were talking about early in the game. Now, we didn't, we had technical difficulties, so we didn't go on air until two or three minutes left to go in the first half. But we were talking about that before we went on. They need to... They need to post Reddish because he's very good down there. He's got a mismatch. And uh, and also, it makes Klesmich, uh work on the defensive end. So maybe he's not as effective on the other end. Ten point advantage for the Terriers. Always want to make real good offensive players work on that defensive end. Here's Mack. Passes it back out to Klesman. Klesman knocks down the three. Certainly can shoot it. There's no question. He can score the ball. Can't let him get going. You got to take it upon yourself if you're guarding him. And that's been Harrison. You got to do to him what he's doing to you on the defensive end because they have taken Harrison out of this game. Let's see if PC can get him going. And it's been primarily Larson, who's an excellent defender. I like the bounce pass it to Hill. Hill looking for the two. Off the rim, no good. Left it a little short. It's good D by Godwin. Pass ahead into the front court for the Terriers. Here's Mack for three, and he knocks it down. He was quiet in the first half, but it's off to a good start here in the second as he knocks down that tray. And you see why Walford can do a lot of damage in these basketball games because at least four out of five can shoot it from deep, and they all can score it in mid range and at the rim. Ball Can't stolen that, away. No. On the other side, three-point attempt, no good. A whistle, and a foul underneath on Presbyterian. No, it's on Mac. No, it. Yeah. Let's watch this replay. Matt, that's look. the three that he made. You got a big man that can knock down a three like that. It can take you a long way. So now PC will have to make the adjustment and get out on Mac, especially if he knocks one more down. I don't think you want to, even after that, you don't want to give him too many open looks. Of course, he goes right to the bench. So, and he'll be back. Fouls. He'll be back. And then there's another foul on the offense, on the defensive end for the Terriers. Larson. It's going to be on Ryan Larson. Patterson back for Walford, Tyler. Comes into Reddish. Passes off to Harrison. Harrison looking for some space. Lost it again. Going to the other end is Klesman. Klesman will back it out. Thought about the three, but instead will pass it across. And it's knocked away by Reddish. And it off the Walford Terrier and out of bounds. And it'll stay. It'll go sure to Presbyterian. Tip, tip the finger of Safford. PC in real danger here. This is a crucial part of this basketball game. You've got to stay in it now or it'll be way too much to make up against a very good Walford team. Walford's not, certainly not going to give you any reason. You know, they're not going to get you back in it. They're not going to help you get back in it. Younger will pass it inside to Hill. Hill trying to back down the defender, double team. They'll toss it back out to Younger. Younger will rise up. Jumper from just inside the arc is good. Two yeah, for I mean, Brandon Younger. He made a tough shot, Tyler, but if you have to live on that, good press by PC. So Walford will inbound. Yeah. 
Lesman, who is now the leading scorer for the Terriers with 12. Passes it off. Godwin has it. Passes it back to Klesman. Klesman going to go inside. There's going to be a whistle and a foul going to be called on Winston Hill. I might think about putting Reddish on Klesman as Klesman starting to exert himself and impact this game, scoring the basketball. Sure, you see, he knows what to do, Tyler. If he gets an open look, he's going to drain a long shot. Not, he's going to go to the mid range if he sees that opening. There's a good look at Max Klesman. He sees an opening to the bucket. He's going to the rim like he did there. And nice protection of the ball, getting it extended with the left hand away from the shot blocker and draws a foul. And he's going to make his free throws. A nice stroke at the free throw line. So he's a he's a handful. into that Walford lead inside to Reddish. Reddish surrounded by Terriers. Has the ball stripped away, but gets it back, goes up, makes nice the finish. bucket. Lesman at the point for the Terriers. Tries to get it to Godwin. A little miscommunication maybe there. Bigelow passes it back to Klesman. Klesman going to walk the baseline. Have it knocked out of his hands, but it'll stay with the Terriers. Puts it into Godwin, who hands it right back to Larson. Who hands it right back to Godwin with five to shoot. Godwin in the lane, turn around, floater off the... Backboard, no good. Good job by Hill. You got to sit on Godwin's left hand. Make him use his right. Go to his right. Reddish going to go inside. Guarded closely by Larson. Pass will come back out to Harris. Harrison has been quiet today with just two points for the Blue Host. Stewart rises up for a three. It's no good. And Walford has the rebound. Not going to hit many of those. Highly contested like that. Three-point attempt by the Terriers on the other end as Safford tried to knock one down and couldn't get it to go. Harrison back out to Reddish. Reddish. Goes to his left, passes off to Harrison. Harrison for three, and that's blocked. That's going to be out of bounds. We'll see who touched it. And they don't know. Saying that Larson hit it last, I believe. And Mac they, back in. Give it to Pleasant. Presbyterian. Yep, Two Mac. out of three referees. Yeah, didn't know. Pleasant and Mac back in for a wall. Presbyterian basketball, nine to shoot. 14.33 left to play. Here. Blue Host Rail, 41-27. Rebound pass comes into Reddish. They try for the alley oop. He can't get it to go. Couldn't flush it, KB. Yeah, that was Rayshawn Harrison. Offered loses it on the other end. They'll pass ahead to Reddish. Reddish Lock, drops not the awarded. shoulder. No foul, a whistle. And then the late, maybe a call on Larson. Maybe a makeup foul call. He might have said he might have grabbed somebody while he was down on the floor. I think the referee said that Larson may have grabbed somebody when he had, he had already fallen on the ground. He's on his backside. Were they giving the ball to Walker? Well, maybe not. Maybe they said somebody fouled Larson, stepped on him or tried to step through him. Klesman's done a good job taking care of the basketball from the one spot. Klesman in the lane, couple of turnarounds, can't get the shot to go. And scoring the ball at the same time. He gets the whistle and the foul. Terriers for years now have mined the state of Wisconsin with excellent results. Klesmet just another one in that pipeline. 
and he can play. Lesman has two free throws coming. Makes the first. If PC doesn't do something radically different here in the last 14, Klesman's going for 20 plus, maybe even more that than that. That won't be hard. He has 15. Yep. Inside they go to Hill. Hill turn around. Spins out. Tough roll, whistle and a foul though on the rebound. Bigelow. And Hill will have it. Our Presbyterian will have it with Hill drawing the foul. There we go, let's watch this. Ball just comes out. Hill does an excellent job going in there, but Bigelow, it's caught reaching in there. Godwin. A couple of substitutions. Godwin will check back in for Mac. Inbound pass comes into Hill. High pass back to Stewart. Then over to McCormack. McCormack for three. In and out, no good. Put back, no by Hill. Hill. One of the few times Goes you want. In. Yep. And Presbyterian has, a, has 29, 43-29. A few times you'll see Walford give up a something on the offensive glass like that. Trapped here in the corner, right in front of us. They get out of it. Do the Terriers. Larson with the basketball. Thought about the shot, passes it up though instead to Klesman. They'll go back over to Patterson for three. It's off the mark, no good. Presbyterian has the rebound. Pass it off to Stewart, who thought about the shot. Goes back to Reddish. Reddish back to Stewart. Belt pass into Hill. Hill out to Stewart. Stewart for three. Off the mark, no good. And a rebound underneath by Harrison, who goes up and slams nice. it in. Maybe that'll get him going. Just four points for Harrison on the night. It's a nice elevation. Jumped off two feet and dunked with two hands from about four feet away. Larson's fallen down twice, but saved the possession, I believe, both times. Didn't get tripped there, just like an got his feet. To draw yeah. the foul. I don't know. I think he's just got his. And that one's out of his reach and goes out of bounds. Yeah, that would be Presbyterian ball. That wasn't on Larson there. Godwin just too low on that bounce pass. Let's take a look at this dunk by Harrison. Excellent rebound on the offensive end and just goes up and takes care of business. A three here would cut the lead to nine and put Presbyterian down just single digits. They'll work it inside to Reddish. Nice spin. spins, goes inside, gets the bucket, and it's a 10-point game. Now see what you can do on the offensive end. Play without fouling, try to make Walford make a tough shot. And contest everything, you gotta slow him down first. Oh, it's a great move, but he couldn't finish. Couldn't get the bucket to go, Presbyterian has it again. Going to the other end is Reddish. Strong attempt by Klesman. Couldn't get it to go down, Tyler. Reddish going to go inside. He'll go up. Whistle and a foul. Reddish will drink a regular shot. Okay. Zero sugar. Right. But it, the zero sugar Mountain Dew is fantastic as well. Okay. Tastes just like regular Kind of what Dew. I was getting at. Yep. Reddish knocks down the first. And it's a single digit lead for the Terry for the first time in quite a while. You are correct, sir. Offered 0 for their last five. They haven't scored in two minutes and 54 seconds. <laughs> or two. <laughs> it's knocked down the second. I like the pressure in the backcourt from Presbyterian. Taking time off the shot clock and nothing else. 
Makes it a little more difficult for Walford to get into their sets. Larson back at the one. Klesman slides over to the two. Reddish guarding Klesman now. I like that matchup a little better. Mack with a spin move of his own and lays it off the glass. Yep. Hill got caught out of position. Mack made him pay with a nice spin move. Drop step on the baseline. Went to that left shoulder in the right hand delivery. See if PC can get McCormack going and get him a couple of looks from three. There we go, right on cue. There it is. Missed it. It's off the rim. Rebound tapped around, and it'll be Wofford that comes away with it. They'll throw it ahead to Larson. Pass it back out. Three-point attempt by Patterson is good. Now we talked about how, how well he's been shooting the ball from deep lately, or this year even. Pretty much the entire year, and a good find by Larson within the flow of their offense. Harrison from downtown. Right and, the out and then back in. It's a big bucket for Harrison. Get him going and go a long way. You see, has done a little bit to cut into this lead. They're Can just they? not going away right. for the Terry. Got to get some stops here. You string together some stops here, this thing becomes a basketball game. Side to Mack. Working against Hill, whistle, and the offensive foul. And that'll be Mack's fourth foul of the game, I do believe. That is correct. That'll be foul number four. Hill doing a good job of drawing that. And actually, right in between drawing it and a flop. But uh, got away with it. And if you can get away with it. Wofford's leading scorer heads to the bench with four personal fouls. With 9.27 left to go. And Wofford is in the bonus. Or, excuse me, Presbyterian is in the bonus. Obviously not. For the, well, it's a player be, control will be, foul. They yeah, will be that. in the bonus right, with the right, next foul. The next one, yeah. Yeah, but Hill, the, the key on that, Tyler, is you, you kind of read, read the offensive player, you know, anticipated and, and made the right play defensively. Great defense there, but he's out of bounds. Klesman. Klesman's doing a little bit of everything for this Terrier ball club. He's a good player. Get a little rest right now, though, for Bigelow. Klesman will head to the bench. Floor maintenance. Here in the inbound. For the sake. Inbound, it'll be Harrison for Big two. Bucket. Rayshon Harrison, a very dangerous player for the Blue Hose. Absolutely. If he can get going, this could still be a ball game under nine to play here, and it's an eight point advantage. Three point attempt. Big mate. Just like that, every time Presbyterian appears to be getting back in the game, Walford hits a big three. Hey, and another thing, you got to credit Larson, he's getting his teammates these looks. A good penetration and finding a shooter. And, you know, the art of great passing is get the ball where it needs to be, right when it needs to be there. And Larson's certainly doing that now. And Terrier teammates doing their job of knocking down shots. Harrison and tries to off. answer the three, is off the mark. And it'll go out of bounds to the Terriers with 8.20 left to play. We talked about Harrison getting going. That's what we were talking about at halftime. And he has started to contribute offensively. Just missed one there, had a pretty good look. Wasn't a horrible shot. Harrison 
Given a little bit too much space by Larson there and pulls up and knocks down the three. You see, needs to get some stops. That's a nice cross Klesman. by Klesman. Three. That's Auto a big shot to her. That's tough. Just a little quick crossover, created the space, and then the quick release. Klesman's a real deal. And just like that, we're back at 14. Reddish on the offensive end. He'll hand it off to Harrison. Harrison, jumper from just nice inside the lane is good. The problem was for PC was on this end, but now it's becoming a problem on the defensive end. How do you string together some stops? You've even made a personnel change. You've gotten Reddish on Klesman. They got picked off there. Bigelow. Bigelow goes inside. Oh, what a bucket. Deep. That's beautiful. And gets the underhand shot to go. Isaiah Bigelow. And it's a 14-point advantage for the Terriers. Nice bucket in traffic, utilizing the goal, going to the other side. Pass into Hill. Hill wants to go back out, but has it tied up, knocked out of his hand, so he'll put it back on the floor. Tries to get it back out to Harrison. Taken away by Patterson. He'll go all the way to the other end and lay it in. And it's a 16-point advantage. Walford breaking the will of PC right here. See if PC's got one more run in him. Winston Hill, who was good in the first half, been mostly quiet here in the second. Knocked away by Klesman. Presbyterian turning it over in key moments of the game here. Ill-advised passes. Got to pick better angles. Well, get fouled. And to that. Klesman. Klesman's got to be at 20 now. That 22 would be or nine, six. That would be 21. 21, yep. Just way too many good trips for Walford defensively and way too many bad trips for Presbyterian offensively. It's not a good combination trying to win a basketball game. Walford's lead is 18. Godwin, easy finish right around the rim. Not looking good for the Blue Hose now in their own building, Tyler. Five minutes left to play in this one, and you're right, it's a 20-point advantage for the Terriers. We're from the Southern Conference, or just up the road here in Spartanburg. You know, we hadn't talked about that the whole time, the proximity of these two programs, so that's a whistling about. Could be a good, you know, regional rivalry. Reddish will head to the line for a couple of free throws with 4.48 to go. Team knocks down the first. Back so one more coming for Reddish. And he misses the second. Mack has the rebound. Passes it off. Larson will bring it down. I like the way they utilize Mack out on the perimeter. He's tall and can see over the defense, seeing cutters. 
And can knock that back down. For three, and he got it. Yeah, that's lethal there. A big kid like that who can pass from the perimeter and also knock down shots. Wofford's a tough out. Terriers, of course, always one of those teams that's a threat in the NCAA tournament. Absolutely. Harrison at the line for Presbyterian with a one and one, and he knocks down the front end, so he'll get one more. Klesman tries to thread the needle, can't do it. Presbyterian with a takeaway. Younger to the other end. Presbyterian nearly throws it away. Harrison will get it back. He'll take a three. It grazes the front of the rim and falls off. Sean Harrison had two points at the half, now with 13 KB. But a little late. Our junior on the guard of Mack, they'll throw it back to Larson and he'll bury the three from the top of the key. Away. He'll pass it off to Harrison. Harrison goes inside from the free throw line. Can't get the jumper to go, and we got a whistle and a foul underneath, and I believe they're going to go with over the back on Klesman. They will. Turner will check in for the Terriers. Larson will head to the bench. McCormack misses the free throw, but rebound tapped out to R. Jr. Harrison loses the handle, and Klesman going to have it. Younger and Klesman going to go inside. Got hit, looked like, with the forearm. That foul is on Younger, his third. Trying to get the ball inbounded, they will. To Patterson, who will hand it off to Mack. Back to Patterson. Patterson going to go in the lane. Contact, but no foul. Three-point attempt from the corner, and nothing but the bottom of the net for Luke Turner. Slam one down with a little tomahawk. Whistle and a foul going to be called on Reddish. As he reached almost through Patterson. 
There's another look at that tomahawk. Enters the game for the Terriers. Yeah, he's gone. Appleton, 7-1 out of Stockholm, Sweet. Yeah, he's tall. He is tall. Back out, three-point attempt. Now, Knocks sudden, it down to yeah. Isaiah Bigelow. Pretty good contest by Younger, but Bigelow didn't care. He knocked it down. We're all under a sudden, minute. All of a sudden, Walford's finding the basket on all their shots. They've knocked down the last four in a row, I believe. Mount pass. And the Reddish. Mount toss it over to Younger. Younger down to get it down. Overpassing. To Ard, can't get it to him, and Walford's going to take it away. About a, two, about a second and a half differential. Game clock, shot clock. Walford gonna get this win and move to eight and four on the season. Presbyterian will fall to seven and six. Next up for the Blue Hose, they have a date uh, later this week with the Furman Paladins up in Greenville. Nice bucket by Tripp there to Finish out the scoring for the Terriers. For the, ter for the Terriers, they will go to a couple of other. They have a road game coming up later this week. And then they have a home game to end out the year with VMI. A team that PC has already beaten twice this year. And PC beat Citadel in overtime on this court. They were 3-0 against the Southern Conference, but that'll change here this afternoon. So there's a knocks down. The free throw to make it 76 48. Just a take care of business win for the Terriers. Another shot by Harrison is up and good with 2.7 seconds. They'll get it, Wofford will inbound it, and they'll come away with the win as the Terriers defeat the Presbyterian.